CNN has just learned that Meghan Markle did not participate in the emergency summit yesterday with Queen Elizabeth. Her Majesty issued a carefully worded statement agreeing to let Prince Harry and Meghan live in Canada part time. But she says there will be a period of transition. CNN's Max Foster live at Buckingham Palace with more. And Max, I should note the way she called them Harry and Meghan interesting in and of itself. It was. Uh, it speaks to the um, you know, emotion, really, behind this for the Queen. She's dealing with members of the family as well as members of her firm. Uh, I think that certainly we've seen how Harry and Meghan have taken a more informal approach to their roles from the Cambridges. I think this confirms that they really are heading out the door, and now it's this period of transition that the Queen's been talking about. We spoke yesterday about how I was briefed that uh, the Duchess would be dialing into this meeting in Sandringham yesterday, this crisis meeting for the family. Uh, just being told uh, that she didn't feel the need to dial in. Uh, that's off the back of lots of speculation in the papers today uh, that she wasn't allowed to dial in because it was a security risk. And also the Queen didn't know who might be in the room at the other end in Canada. Uh, we don't know what the truth is, but I'm being told it was the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's decision not to have her dial in to that meeting. So she wasn't part of it ultimately, but she is certainly signed up to what came out of it, John.